Uh, Bournemouth and Poole may have been in the Eurozone, but let's not forget that this Thursday is St George's Day, and final preparations are being made for a unique piece of artwork, apparently on the roof of Salisbury Cathedral. Four writers have been working in Brighton, Oxford, Weymouth and Salisbury to discover your untold stories and give a snapshot of life in the South. And on Thursday, the culmination of that work will emerge as night falls on St George's Day. It's going to be wonderful. It's all part of a Made in England project to celebrate creativity. Joe Crowley has been to find out more about it. Four writers each covering a different part of the South. They're brief to find your hidden stories. And to give it a creative twist, we're going to combine their stories, mixing up the beginnings, middles and ends, producing a unique snapshot of our region. How about that for a blank canvas? That's where the poet's stories are going to end up, beamed in light onto the north face of Salisbury Cathedral, where they'll be seen for miles around. Okay. And the man making that spectacle happen, Colin Parnell. Under cover of darkness, he's been preparing his projectors for this Thursday's big event. It's quite an awesome task, the amount of people that are involved in this one single event, all culminating on the night, to see the work of the poets, to see the work of all the technical team behind it. Um, everybody that's been working on this has been so keen, so enthusiastic. Um, it's been great to be part of it. It'll be perfect. So join us on St George's Day this Thursday evening at Salisbury Cathedral. Joe Crowley, BBC South Today. Yes, join the team at Salisbury Cathedral, as Joe says, Thursday evening as night falls and see that fabulous projection emerge. You can find out more about the project at Made.